Yeah, so this idea of uh, CD47, as you all know that um, originally this idea developed by Dr. Irvin Weissman uh, of Stanford University, where uh, he developed this idea to f develop a therapy, an anti-cancer therapy, because, uh, you know, um, many people and uh, including his group found that, uh, you know, cancer cells, they produce this molecule in excess when compared to other uh, our uh, normal cells uh, in the body. Those are cancer cells, they have this molecule called CD47 highly expressed. The CD47, when it is highly expressed, the macrophages and other kind of uh, molecules which generally identify the cancer cells and any abnormal growth totally eradicate them. When they see this molecule, they get a signal, don't kill me or don't eat me signal. So if any cells having more of CD47, then the, the cells uh, basically designed to kill the abnormal cells, they are supposed to spare them, not killing. So they escape from the macrophages and other kind of killer cells in our body. Uh, Dr. Irwin Weissman proposed this idea, maybe uh, in infectious agents, some of the infectious agents, whether in the close proximity of certain cells, our cells, or uh, it is within those cells, they may be expressing more of the CD47, uh, kind of flagging the killer cells or the, the cells that destroy the infection not to come nearer to them so that these uh, microbes they evade, including the Borrelia. So he proposed a, a kind of very interesting hypothesis uh, that when the Borrelia is infecting the cells or when it is uh, Borrelia in close proximity of certain cells, these cells have the ability to produce more of CD47 uh, just to promote, uh, you know, less activity of uh, uh, the cells that they can kill or eliminate the infection. And uh, this project was originally proposed by Irwin Weissman and then he was trying to find out a lab that can collaborate with him. And at that time, Sherry, uh, pro you know, uh, proposed that this is a great idea and she uh, contacted us, she um, uh, introduced us to uh, a Professor Irby Smyersman group and then we initiated the project. And uh, like few, uh, you know, few months ago, uh, we found out a very interesting uh, observation. Whenever we take the cells, we infect them with uh, the Borrelia, the infectious agent causing the Lyme disease, we found these cells upregulate CD47 in a, drama, a very, very significant level. That means uh, the hypothesis seems to be working. And uh, if the hypothesis is working, then it opens up in a very interesting possibility of, uh, you know, treating the patients, uh, which are they, the patients have problems in totally eradicating the borrelial infection in their body they can be exposed to this uh, antibody and this antibody uh, that can mask the CD47 that is highly upregulated in the cells that is nearer to the infectious agent. Uh, maybe there is a possibility of novel therapy using CD47 antibody, similar to what people are doing for cancer. Um, what we did uh, we developed a, a, a nice facility uh, for all the researchers come and collaborate with, with us at Stanford. Uh, you know, thanks to the support of uh, Lyme Working Group of Stanford, uh, we uh, acquired a lot of uh, bacterial strain. Some of the strains uh, are carrying the fluorescently labeled proteins so that we can track them where they are uh, infecting in the body of animals, the animal model we are uh, checking, and also we can check their viability uh, in the dish. So these are all the techniques. Some of the techniques are already available. Uh, we just collected them, we enabled the technique, and also we, uh, we offered the kind of service to other people. They can use this technique to check their ideas. Uh, if they come up with some antibiotic or an antibody, uh, but you, they can use our facility to find out whether those ideas are working on uh, the, uh, in their process of developing antimicrobial therapy for Lyme disease. 
disease. We also have, uh, uh, yeah, in, in parallel, we are also initiated a program to find out uh, because of the Lyme infection, uh, any kind of cognition impairment that is happening. Uh, we are wanted to find out the mechanism of pain. You know, pain is a major uh, problem in Lyme disease. We wanted to find out why this bacteria is causing so much pain in people's body. We also wanted to find out uh, the brain fogging effect, what people uh, you know experience, and also the headache. Those kind of things we wanted to initiate a program to understand the molecular mechanism. In, 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 if we get a, a, a total understanding of the mechanism, how it is working, at one point we can develop a therapy for it. Uh, because there are two things. One is uh, totally eliminating the bacteria in people's body. And this, the other one is the after effect of this elimination. You know, because when the bacterial infection happens, our immune system is overly activated. Uh, and uh, that also for certain portion of the people leads to a, a perpetual inflammation in their body. Uh, perhaps that causes uh, yeah, pain in their body. We wanted to find out answers, how exactly it happens, why in certain portion of population they react violently um, uh, for uh, you know, this infection. Uh, so our approach is uh, we try to find a novel antibiotic uh, totally eliminate uh, the bacterial infection in the body. Um, even if there is a possibility of persistence of the infection, we wanted to find out an antibiotic that can eliminate uh, this infection. We also have a program to develop uh, a small molecule, therapeutic agents that can tolerate people for infection. So what the, the idea is, just to make them tolerant to the infection at the same time you treat it with an antibiotic so that they'll be free of both after effect and also the infection that is our idea in fact one of the clinical trial we just submitted for the consideration uh, is we are trying to treat people tolerizing them uh, with some of one of the known pharmaceutical agent we are also treating uh, with an antibiotic uh, developed here uh, you know, check whether, uh, you know, it is totally eliminating the infection in people. Great.